Meanwhile, at the Junction Oval, Kevin Rose's Fitzroy were looking to improve on their disappointing 1976 as they hosted Richmond under new coach Barry Richardson. Hard, slow, one of those knees that have had about three cartilages out of them can stand up with a strain. It's uh, full-back Carter booting the ball back towards the half-back, and that's a great mark, isn't it? That's a great mark. And he's a... goes back and takes the kick from the centre of the ground. Richmond going out towards Edwards on the other side flank at this stage. A Fitzroy player up in front, no result. Edwards showing a bit more endeavour now. Pops it back to Barthet, shepherded for well by Bond. Barthet has a chance to run and steady. Shoots for goal, and he's got it through, I believe. He has given Barthet second goal. Francis Burke is one game behind Shooter. Here comes Greg Park. It's a good kick, Park. Right to the teeth of goal. Oh, great mark from behind, taken by the flying hands there of Smith. Tap down from the centre, bound full flow. Monteith turns. McMahon to Fitzroy in front of the pack, padding along in front of him, looking for the free kick. Carter gets it over the top, quickly out towards Malthouse, cleverly timed the bounce, had a quick look. Moving down the half forward line, looking for a lead at full forward from Cloak, over his head and drove it straight through. The Roys finishing the stronger. Five goals to one in the final term, handing them an upset 14-point victory. Their first opening round win in four years. Shepherd, hand pass goes to Hart. Hart falls on top of it. Fights and battles and struggles. There's more Fitzroy players around as Allen comes in. Allen gets a good one out to Shepherd. Shepherd on the centre wing has got the chance now. Kicks a long one down looking for Beecroft. In front and Beecroft. 